What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and in today's video we're going to be checking out Godfall on the PS5. Uh, we're going to check out the gameplay overview trailer that premiered at the uh, Sony State of Play uh, last month. So let's hop right in, let's talk about it, let's see what we can see. Here we go. Alright, hopping in, press and play. Alright, so when I originally saw this game I didn't know what to think about it. Gearbox is making it, or at least publishing it. Um, it looks like a hack and slash RPG type of game. I don't know. We're about to find out though. Hello, my name is Keith Lee. Well, hello, Keith. And I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today. And now the world looks beautiful. The character uh, models look great. Of Godfall. Today you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a play. Call me intrigued. Development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of. So yeah, it looks like a very hack and slash kind of God of Warish uh, story game. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher okay. that features intense action, looter slasher, moment, moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. You Don't know how I feel about that. Pace, playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy. fantasy what is what is high fantasy? Heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, and fire. Air, the Avatar and fire. Godfall is a I mean, I'm gonna say this. The uh, armors look awesome and cool. The characters look pretty cool. The combat looks pretty smooth for what it is. Um, I want to see more boss battles. I want to see bigger enemies. Um, because this this is feeling a lot like Marvel's Avengers, uh, where it's not very focused. Legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable. So you unlock armors and whatnot. See, I don't know if that's enough incentive for me to play the game, though, to unlock an armor. I don't know if uh, that'll keep me interested. Yes, that's the that's the main reason I'm here. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third-person melee combat to create what we think is a looter okay. slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear-driven and one part player skill-driven. In other words, not only mm. we want you to find exquisite... So that means expect uh, pay to win, is what they're basically saying. The ...feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and It is pretty rapid. fluid, I'll give him that. It looks pretty good. Pretty smooth. More often than not, I don't like that dodge animation. I, I'm not a big fan of scooting away. I like the rolls or the, um, the God of War kind of quick uh, head dives. I prefer those to the actual like diving backwards and trying to get out of a fight. Now that you're familiar with classes, philosophy, okay. let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there okay. are five weapon classes. The longsword. Dual blades, cool. Dual blades, Probably agility. Reach. The polearm. Power. The two-handed warhammer. And the two-handed greatsword. Each weapon class has their own unique movesets and play styles ranging from Man, I, I'm really liking the uh, enemy designs too. Because they definitely feel, the whole world I think feels like a complete world. Um, that is different and new. But the gameplay and the execution, I feel is a little bit dated. Not as new as they're claiming it to be. And how to modify them in greater detail. For now, we'll go over the dual blades, and the long sword weapon okay. class. Okay. Dual blades. The dual yep, blades agility. Are the I saw that coming. Class in Godfall. Oh, is that like a lizard man? That's cool. Fluidity and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets. See, I'm more intrigued by the enemy designs in the world than um, combo by 
executing four then exactly the story I mean I really don't care about the, the story dual blades, heavy man attack, these little lizard guys are pretty blade cool the blade cyclone can that big dude over there is pretty cool looking at the end of your light attack combo then you got these the uh, enemy soldiers blades. with armor different As weapons you, charge, you can also activate inner focus which is unique to the dual blades Inner Focus, a.k.a. Rage of Gods, a.k.a. Bonus Damage Activation. Where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy... A.k.a. Death's uh, Transformation from uh, Darksiders. Now let's All games have that, it's not unique. Class. Long swords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of okay. elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades... Long swords have their own four hit light attack combo. And this is where the repetition then comes in. The heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your light Cuz it doesn't matter what gear you give me there if it doesn't change the attacks or the movements. It's going to get boring regardless. Which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's spiral tech. Oh, that was cool. All so they have finishing attacks, uh, nothing new, attack. nothing special. Notice there's a white flash after a long sword swing called a timing attack. If you press the shield button counter -attack. exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating Oh, who knew counter attacks like work like that? The shield you know what I mean? Is a core part of God They're acting like all this is like world-changing game throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also Oh wow, I've never seen that in a video game. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield. Wow, are you kidding me? A parry? Oh. Shield it's ridiculous. The shield is great not just for defense. Sarcasm, guys. Offense. Sarcasm. You can aim and throw shield throw. Okay, that's pretty cool. I give him that one. Shield throw is cool. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a But it feels so weak. It looks like a piece of freaking cardboard bouncing off him. You can double tap the shield button to petrify. There's no depth uh, to the attacks. That's my problem with it. <laughs> and of course, you can perform an R3. Oh, a ground finisher. That's PS5 world changing gameplay. Like I said, I'm more about the world and the character designs in this than anything else. Because, man, these armors do look sick. Now, see, if this is supposed to be a boss, I'm going to be disappointed. Because if they're trying to go for, like, these small, grounded, real-life uh, fighting scenario bosses, I'm not interested. I want to see the big, bombastic creatures and monsters and who knows. If I want to play a grounded samurai type game, I'd just pop in Ghost of Tsushima again and play it again. But I'm not 100% down. I'm not 100% down on it. I have faith that it can be decent uh, for a launch game. I think it'll do pretty well for itself. I just don't think it'll be sticking around as long as these uh, developers hope that it will. It's not your next destiny. Um, I think Marvel's Avengers will actually probably be around longer than this. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support. Since yeah, I'm really interested in those snake and lizard people. December. Pretty cool. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch all right. this holiday season. Available holiday 2020 for PS5. Twitter. God, Godfall. Thank you. All right, PlayStation 5 console exclusive. So that was Godfall, guys. Uh, let's talk about it. Now, I said it multiple times as, as we were watching it. I'm interested in the story, uh, not the story, but the world building, uh, how all these creatures interact in this world, because I believe the world is beautiful. It's a really beautiful world. Um, it has a lot going for it in that regard. Um, the loot system is very contrived, and we've seen it before in a thousand games. They keep saying this combat system's top of the line amazing. It's Dynasty Warriors. You have your light attack square combos, and you got your triangle heavy attack, and sometimes you mix them up and you press them both. I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? If they want to push this as, as something revolutionary, they have to make an effort. And they're not putting that... I don't think Gearbox is putting that, in, that effort into this game. 
on top of that, uh, they want to say how loot can change the whole game. It's part, part loot, part hero, or it's part loot, part player skill. Um, that has me worried, especially something that will have loot boxes and will have microtransactions. Uh, we know this game will. Uh, that will happen. So it makes me a little worried that half the game relies on these loot boxes to these list loot to make you good. Uh, so you potentially have the problem of pay to win coming up very soon early on in the life cycle of this game. Um, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the, bit the benefit of the doubt, guys. Um, I'm going to watch a few gameplays, do a little bit more research b- before I make my decision on this game. Um, but as a launch game, I probably will end up playing it just because there's not a whole lot to offer at launch. And Gearbox is getting a really good spot right here and kind of being the first PS5 games to really show themselves. Uh, so I probably will be checking it out. Stay tuned for more updates. When they drop updates, I will update you guys as well. Like, subscribe, and share. Keep it here on Dorkston. Until next time, guys. Adios.